come back. I hope you found that reading thought-provoking and that you're able to jot down some interesting reflections in your portfolio. As you probably noted in your portfolio, the most obvious factor that distinguishes agribusinesses from other businesses is that they involve, either directly or indirectly, the primary production of food and fibre. Let's have a think about the broad types of agribusiness. It's primary production, farming and cropping of food and fibre, agricultural suppliers, the genetic material, seed, fertiliser, plant and equipment and other inputs, agricultural services, contracting, agronomy, consulting and those sorts of things that go into the system. Some agribusinesses move further up the value chain by adding value to their produce uh, to varying degrees, packing, processing, wholesaling, even retailing. And they diversify into related industries such as tourism. Remember that term value chain because you will be doing a unit on value chains later in the year. And, that's, and in that subject we'll delve much more deeply into the different types of agribusinesses uh, right across the value chain, including the transport and logistics, wholesale and retail trade, and the science and technology sec sector that feeds into agribusinesses at various levels. But for now, we'll keep our dis discussions to these three broad types. As you would have seen in the reading, the Gunson et al. initially defined agribusiness as the sector of the economy that is the sequence of interrelated activities made up of genetics and seed stock firms, agricultural input suppliers, agricultural producers, agricultural commodity merchandisers, food processors, food retailers, and food consumers. But the reference to food in Gunderson and colleagues' initial definition is a bit narrow. Most definitions also include fibre, taking into account our wool, cotton, and other non-wood fibres that are produced by agribusinesses, either as their primary product or as a byproduct of their production system. For example, sheep producers focusing on meat also produce wool. And in Tasmania in particular, uh, pharmaceuticals are a very significant part of our mix of agricultural businesses. For example, poppies, pyrethrum. Uh, later in that uh, Gunderson chapter, they do discuss the importance of fibre production and pharmaceuticals as part of the agribusiness agri spectrum. So I think a pretty good definition of agribusiness is something along the lines of the business of agricultural production at all levels in the food and fibre value chain and those institutions that influence it as part of the agricultural system. Now, to more, some more reflections in your portfolio uh, before we watch some more videos. So the first task in your portfolio is that I want you to jot down some dot point responses to these questions. List the names of businesses that you know about that are examples of each of the three main types of agribusiness. That is primary production, agricultural suppliers, agricultural services. Can you name some businesses who operate across two or more of those agribusiness types? For example, who grows processes and sells directly their own produce? What do you think are the key factors that shape each of the businesses you've listed for questions one and two? What is it that shape their location, the scale and what they do? The second task I'll get you to do is to watch the following two videos. These are intended to provide you with a, an insight into the contribution that agribusinesses make to the national economy and in particular the second video uh, will highlight the diversity of skills and knowledge an agribusiness manager needs to survive and thrive in these complex times. After watching each video reflect again in your portfolio your reactions. Uh, were, were there some things that you didn't know about agribusiness before that you know now? What are those things?